Hello, my name's Kath and I'm a puppet maker. Today I'm going to show you how to make some shadow puppets, ones like these. So, here's how I would go about making the hula hoop squeak. I'd get my hula hoop, I'd get my piece of fabric that I'd ironed. My fabric's a bit big, so I'll need to cut it down. cut off the extra fabric now. I'll just use a pen to go round and mark it. So we'll now go on to the next step, which is how to bake the puppets. So, here are the puppets. Here's the starfish. Here's the crab. The crab was made on black card. The starfish was using coloured pens on acetate. Here is the prawn. He was felt tip pens on paper. You can see that they detach from the little sticks. So I'll start with the crab. You can make whatever creatures you would like. I recommend working from illustrations. It gives you more of an idea of the details when you're doing your drawings. So I'll begin with choosing a crab. I'm going to do a quick sketch on paper. When I'm happy with my drawing, I can now take my scissors and cut it out. So you'll see this crab there's the drawing on the back so what I'm going to do is take this drawing and stick it down and then a little craft knife I'm going to cut down the drawing So, making the prawn, you can see he has a moving tail, so I made the prawn in two pieces. You want to use thin card.
once you've drawn your body, your tail, now we can cut them out very carefully and colour them in. So now we have to do a little bit of magic to make them transparent. To make our paper more transparent, now we've coloured it with felt tip pens, we're going to use vegetable oil. Kitchen paper underneath your puppet. Just a little bit of vegetable oil and both sides let the vegetable oil soak in a bit and then we're going to blot off some clean kitchen paper pop them on there and we're going to leave those to dry oil is dried and I'm going to sandwich the prawn between some transparent sticky back plastic to protect all its little delicate legs. I would now very carefully cut away the extra but still leaving enough of an overlap so that the prawn is sealed in. Now we need to do the tail, now we need to join them together. I think we're going to have his tail here, so we could test its position by holding the tip of a sharp pencil, pressing down and we can see that that pivot looks quite nice. Need something small to make the hole with. I'm going to use a needle, so I'm just going to poke through Put that there, mark where the bottom hole is going to be, press down, now I can poke that hole through, then I can use to make my little hinge a paper fastener. I'm going to put my tail behind, push the paper fastener through the hole, through the hole of the tail. Turn him over, these little bits of the paper fastener and fold those flat like that. Turn him back. Oh, I folded them a bit too tight. You just work that loose a little bit. Right, so now he's wiggling. We have the wiggly prawn. You can see here the starfish I made, he was made onto acetate sheet, difficult to see, it's quite thick plasticky sheet. You can work using glass paints or you can work using permanent ink Lumo colour pens. So what I'll do first is I will do an outline on a piece of white paper. Now I've got my outline, I can put my acetate over the top. And using my coloured pens, I'm going to use red, the yellow and the orange. I can start colouring in my acetate. I don't want my acetate to move around, I can tape it down.
So when you're happy with your starfish coloured in, then you can lift up the acetate and you can see your transparent starfish. So all that we need to do is cut it out. So there is the starfish. I think he's looking a little bit pale. So I'm going to colour in it a little bit more. That's the starfish done. Now let's talk about attaching all the little rods. Here is the little rod that we're going to fix to the back of the puppets. It's a bamboo kebab stick. I'm using ones that are 30 centimetres long. And what you need is some of this sticky Velcro. I would put the rough side on the end of your stick. Get the flat end of your stick, fold the Velcro over so that it sticks to itself. You can cut off the little bits at the edge that don't have the Velcro on them. And then on the back of the puppet we need to put the soft Velcro. I'm cutting mine into a little circle, peeling off putting it on the puppet, press down, then with your little stick you can pick your puppet up. 